Hey there, this is Jonathan with the Pi Calendar team, and in this video, what I'm going to do is show you some of the great features included in Pi Calendar Pro. Now, what you'll probably be most excited about in the Pro version as of right now is the ability to create recurring events. So let's go ahead and take a look at the homepage on our website, and you can see I have a couple instances of recurring events. One of them repeats every month, then there's one that repeats every Tuesday and every Thursday, and then we have one that repeats every three weeks, which is this council meeting. Like everything in our implementation for Pi Calendar, it's extremely flexible. So let me show you in the back end what the monthly Pi-tacular settings look like. So when you have Pro installed, you'll see that there's this new sidebar option here called Event Color and Recurrence. For the event color, you can see I've set this to blue, and we can see that is the background in this case because this event spans multiple days. Then if I switch back over here to the back end, there's a new toggle that says This Event Repeats. So of course, in this case, I want it to repeat every month and it's always going to end up on that Friday to Sunday stretch. So what I've done is set the interval to one months and then there's a toggle that appears here when you're working with a month frequency, which allows you to set the same weekday and position. Because of course, this May 5th might end up being something different when it jumps to June, it could be a different day of the week. So what we want to ensure is that this monthly Pi-tacular has the same recurrence in terms of days of the week and we can achieve that with this toggle here. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can actually set when this recurrence stops as well. So if we want this to no longer show up on our calendar after a certain number of months, we can click this and go to wherever in our calendar we want this to disappear. And let's say, you know, on August 11th, we want that to cease recurring, then we can go ahead and update that. Now what I've done is switched over to the Fake Town Council meeting. And as you saw on the front end, what I did was set the recurrence to every three weeks. So my interval just is the number three, and then the frequency is weeks, and then I set it to stop after about 18 months. So this gives me a calendar full of recurrence. So if I keep going through the months, you can see the fake town council meeting is happening as intended. And then the sunrise yoga sessions that we had repeating set to end at the end of September. So, you know, maybe the sunrise yoga sessions aren't really going to be possible as the weather starts to cool down too much. So you can set those to end recurring on a certain date. In this case, I chose the 26th and the 28th. So in the case of an event like this sunrise yoga, where it recurs every Tuesday and Thursday, all that I've done here is create just two posts in the back end of WordPress. One that happens every Tuesday at 6.30 a.m., and one that happens every Thursday at 6.30 a.m. So really simple, I only had to create two posts and essentially just duplicate them and slightly change the date. But this gives you a lot of flexibility to create a calendar that looks like this. If you have events that span multiple days, have different recurring intervals that need different colors, you can see Pi Calendar Pro gives you all of those options. The other thing that we'll have in an upcoming release is the ability to add WooCommerce products and also easy digital download products to your calendar as well, which will mean that if you have something coming for release soon, you can put that on the calendar and your visitors will be able to go to that product or that download through your calendar. So with that, those are some of the great features coming in the pro release of Pi Calendar Pro. So make sure you visit our website at pycalendar.com for more information. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in a future tutorial.